Hi, I'm Marita Cho of Feel Korean TV. Welcome to our channel and enjoy watching the different videos and learning at the same time. Today, in the math corner of our channel, I'll show to you how to simplify or reduce fractions in lowest terms. Today, in the math corner of our channel, I'll show to you how to simplify or reduce fractions in lowest terms. I make this video because it is important for us to master simplifying or reducing fractions to lowest term since in solving fractions, we always express the answer in lowest terms. So, let's start now. 6 tenths. It is a fraction not in simplest form. 6 tenths, the numerator and the denominator are both composite numbers and they have common factor. So, that means that we can reduce this to lowest term. How can we reduce fractions in lowest term? For proper fraction like the 6 tenths, it is a proper fraction, numerator is less than the denominator. So in this case, we will just get the GCF or greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator and we will divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF. Now, let us answer. 6 and 10, the GCF is 2. So we will just divide this by 2. Equals 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And... 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Therefore, the answer is 3 fifths. In lowest term, you can see that the numerator and the denominator are both prime numbers. Another example, 15 twentieths. This is another proper fraction. The numerator is less than the denominator. So we will just get the GCF of 15 and 20. If you do not know how to get the GCF, please watch my other video about finding the GCF. You can find the link at the description box below and you can watch it later. The GCF of 15 and 20 is 5. We will just divide this by 5. Okay. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. So, the answer is 3 fourths. Next example, 18 20 fourths. The GCF of 18 and 24 is 6. So, let's divide. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. So, the answer is 3 fourths. Another one, 9. Now, let's proceed to the improper fraction. How can we simplify improper fractions or how can we reduce improper fractions to lowest terms? Like for example, 12 over 5. 12 is greater than 5. How can we simplify this? To simplify improper fractions, just divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay, so let us divide 12 divided by 5. The answer is 2. 2 times 5, 10. Then 12 minus 10 is 2. The quotient will be the whole number. And the remainder is the numerator and the divisor is the denominator. So the answer is 2 and 2 fifths. When we simplify improper fractions, the answer is always mixed number, meaning there is a whole number and a fraction. Next example. So we will divide 18 divided by 7. The answer is 2. 
2 times 7 equals 14. Okay, then subtract. 8 minus 4 is 4. 1 minus 1 equals 0. The answer is, of course, the whole number is the quotient. The quotient is 2, then the remainder is 4, and the denominator is 7. The answer is 2 and 4 sevenths. Last example, 24 tenths or 24 over 10. Divide 24 divided by 10. So, the answer is 2. 2 times 10 equals 20. Subtract, 4 minus 0 is 4. And then 2 minus 2 is 0. The answer is 2. The remainder 4 is the numerator 10. The answer is 2 and 4 tenths. But, let us look the fraction. The fraction is 4 tenths. 4 is a composite number and 10 is a composite number also. And they have GCF. So meaning, we can still reduce the fraction in lowest term by dividing the numerator and the denominator by their GCF. The GCF of 4 and 10 is 2. So we will divide this by 2. Equals, of course, the whole number we will just copy. We will not divide the whole number. Only the fraction. 2. Then, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. The answer is 2 and 2 fifths. It is the final answer, not this one. Just remember the rule in simplifying and reducing fractions in lowest terms. For proper fraction, just get the GCF and divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF. And for improper fraction, just divide the numerator by the denominator. And the answer is always in mixed number. I hope you learned in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new in our channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be updated if we have a new video. See you next time. God bless.